Now we do have one, two, three. I'm going to assume there is something under these, or it may be an optional screw hole for a different model using the same, same chassis. For me, that screw there doesn't want to come out. And yeah, I'll leave that there for now. We'll just take off these two covers and see what might, may or may not be under there. Just a pair of tweezers. Yeah, we have nothing under there. I'm gonna assume that'll be the same story with the one up the top there. And let's try and get this open. I'm gonna make a gap here. That no, nail's not good enough. Let's try plastic pry tool. No, that's also getting me nowhere. Another plastic pry tool. There we go. That started the gap. As I move along. We're separated. Put that down here as well. Okay. There we go. Lift. Lay that down. Work my way around. Bingo. We're now in. So looking inside here, it looks to be very, not really upgrade friendly. I want to disconnect the battery over here. But looking in here, let's cover a few things. We have the charging port over here. This one here, which is soldered directly to the main board. So if you do damage the charging port, you will have to potentially take the board out to repair the charging port. You do have the option of charging via the type C cable, I believe on this one. I believe there's support power direct. So you should be able to charge via the type C also. We have 16 gig of RAM soldered on here, which is unupgradable. Looking at it as well, we also have a BIOS chip, I believe, located here. So if it fails a BIOS update, you may potentially be able to unsolder that to replace it. We have the battery down the bottom here, which does look to be fairly small. Where are we? We should have the size somewhere written on here. Uh, 3300 oh, milliamp hours. I'm assuming there would be a larger battery which could go in here. But that, yeah, I'm not sure whether that's worth the cost. Looking at this chassis, it would have had also had another optional MVME here. Or at least that's what it looks like. So we think an optional NVMe here as well. We have the wireless card here, which looks to be a MediaTek wireless card. But going by the model number on here, we have MT7921K. So that would potentially be upgradable if you choose. Hidden under here, what do we got? We have a brand that I'm not very familiar with. We have a Gen 4 by 4 is it Pyrite, P-Y-R-I-T-E, 512 gig NVMe. So I'm going to upgrade that to a, hmm, I'm going to upgrade that. Looking down here, this machine has yet to be switched on and we have what almost looks like powder on the board, which to me says heat, which considering this is yet to be turned on, isn't very good quality control at all. Looking at the chips, it does look like this area is being reworked, going by how far over this chip is. So very, very odd. I'm gonna try and power this up before I proceed any further with it. Anyway, that is good on a brand new laptop, fresh out of the box. Let's see if I can actually clean up that bit of charred looking damage there. So I've just put a drop of isopropyl alcohol on there. Just curious if I give this a wipe down. Will it clean up?
Yes. Still very bizarre. I can't say I've seen that on any other laptop before that's been brand new and opened. I can really see that on other laptops that have come in. That seems to be nice and clean now. Very bizarre. Anyway, let's proceed with this upgrade. So you can either leave the battery disconnected, which I won't recommend doing, but I'm going to disconnect the battery. Hopefully I can just put my fingernails on here and here and pull it back. The reason why we disconnect the battery is just so there's no power going anywhere where it shouldn't, or at least power going to the hard drive while we replace it. I'm going to tug the cable just a little bit here. Being very stubborn. Very stubborn indeed. So I'll grab a pair of tweezers. Push it back. There we go. Battery is now disconnected. Now we're free to take out the NVMe drive because there's no power to the system. We should unscrew and just wiggle it back, walk it back. Up, down, up, down, or left, right, left, right, depending on your perspective. And there we go. And this does seem to be held down now by a thermal pad. Ta-da! Move this out of the way, put that back down there. Put it back there, like so. That one there is just going to be a spare part. I will have to do a fresh reinstall of Windows now since the MBA drive is removed. That I was intending on doing anyway. And we've got the MP2, one terabyte. Stick that in, push it down. Put the Phillips head screw in here. Reconnect the battery. And then this from here, this is gonna be ready for a fresh install. Now there is a chance you may bend the pins while trying to put, the, put this back in. So do be fairly cautious and just try to keep it fairly straight. If you're going at an angle, you're probably gonna bend a pin. Now with it like that, let's zoom out a bit more and put this bottom cover back on. Nothing else has been touched, just the battery and the NVMe. And this section was cleaned up a little bit. Put this back on, whoop, like that. That's sitting on there, we should just be able to go around and just pinch it like so. Whoop. Excuse the camera angle. Okay. Should pop, crunch, and click as you're putting it back together. And as I've done that, I realise I've left this off. Back in I go. Using the exact same method as just before. Luckily, this side's not fully clipped down, so I should be able to get in pretty easily. Go. And that looks like it sticks about here. Looks more of a shield than anything regarding heat dissipation. Put that back on. And from there, should be right to put those Phillips head screws in. They're all of the same length. And then I'm going to reinstall this using the Windows 10 or Windows 11 Media Creation Tool Installer, which is available on the Microsoft website. And after that, I will go into the MSR website, look up the model number B5M-006AU, and download the drivers from there. There may be a BIOS update as well, which I'll probably do as well, if there is one available. But anyway, that will do for today. And I hope this helps upgrade the NVMe drive or potentially SSR, NVMe drive or the Wi-Fi adapter in the MSI Modern 15. I'll see you guys later. Bye.